Well, a couple of well-known brands making headlines this week. Tim Hortons is making a change to its menu with the addition of a kid's meal in an attempt by the coffee giant to steal back market share from its competitors and improve its relationship with franchisees. And for more on this, and also a new initiative by IKEA, I'm joined now by branding expert Tony Chapman. And Tony, let's start with uh, Timmy's and their new uh, kids' mini packs. Uh, what's your take as uh, Tim's turns to kids? It's a great move. My only question is, what took them so long? You know, the, the, any family restaurant needs a kid's meal, and ideally a free prize inside to keep the kid interested. McDonald's, their biggest competitor, has been brilliant with this strategy. But what I celebrate with Tim's is they're coming up and saying, you know what, this is about taste, not necessarily health. We're going to give the kids choice. I also like the fact that the prize inside is an interactive book versus a cheap plastic toy that's going to be about 10 hours away from landfill. Let me ask you about that, that book, because that's the Canadian angle. Instead of a toy, they're offering Tim's uh, a Canadian-themed activity booklet that will change monthly. Uh, that obviously plays into Tim Hortons and uh, the feeling of Canadiana that uh, you know they have. Yeah, I mean, this this. American companies desperately trying to hold on to the Canadian roots of Tim Hortons, and, that, and this is a smart way to do it. As long as the book is entertaining and engaging for the kids, because if it's not, the kids will go, take me to McDonald's because I want the toy. But uh, I think it's a smart move on their part, and it really does, you know, they're, they're a long way from ever coming back. They'll never get back to where they were, but this is a great move in the right direction, as was their Sidney Crosby ad. So they're, they're taking the steps they need to do. Now they've got to get back to fresh food again. Stop with the frozen food. That'll be another important milestone. Okay, let's move on to IKEA, also making uh, news uh, this week, announcing that they will allow customers to actually return or uh, bring back uh, used furniture, and uh, they'll take it at the store and give them a store credit. What do you think of that branding play? Absolutely brilliant for a couple of reasons. First of all, we're now as consumers, because we have so much choice, buying beyond immediate gratification. So it's not just what's in it for me, what are you doing for the planet? What are you doing for the community? IKEA's already done a great with the philanthropic. But here's the brilliance of this. Instead of the furniture going to landfill, IKEA says, well, we'll, take, we'll take it back in. That's the cause. Now here comes the marketing. One, the cash circulates within their business because they give you store credits which you'll use in the store. Sure. You're bringing in the winners, Dollarama, treasure hunting uh, kind of sh consumer that might not have gone to IKEA to see what is the as is and what are the bargains. And you know, because those things are changing inventory all the time, they're gonna come more often. And traffic is the lifeblood of retail. So brilliance across it, but here's the big idea. If you're listening Habitat for Humanity, because consumers have to bring the assembled stuff back to the store and it's awkward, Habitat for Humanity should say, I'll do it for you. Okay. I'll take your furniture, I'll bring it to IKEA, I'll get the store credits to buy new furniture for all my great Habitat for Humanity projects. And by the way, get the IKEA Foundation to match it, and millions of dollars in new furniture can go to the homes that need it. All right, interesting uh, idea or add-on there, because uh, I think that's the thing when you talk about increasing traffic, because if I'm looking at my bookshelf, and I maybe want to get a new one, but I don't want to have to put it on Kijiji or take it to the dump or, or something. If I know I'm going to get a store credit, it does give the consumer that impetus to, to maybe go out and buy something. Absolutely. You know, that Billy bookshelves can only last you so long. You want to get someone new, and, and I think it's great. And it's a nice way for IKEA to keep getting you to refresh as well because a lot of people go into IKEA as that entry level and then eventually move out and the other thing is if you're going to bring come back and bring your bookshelf and you get your credit and you walk through that crazy maze called IKEA <laughs> looking for your <laughs> Swedish meatballs chances are you're going to buy a lot of new stuff as well so traffic is the lifeblood of retail right. brilliant move but more importantly also a feel-good mood and that's where uh, marketers have got to do it. Some interesting plays from some big brands this week Tony Chapman appreciate it as always. Thanks.